This is time for On My Grind. And On My Grind is that feature that we have. And uh, basically, we like to talk about our careers, our the thing that we do to earn a living, the thing that gives us purpose. And today in studio, we've got uh, two ladies from Options Education Agency. We've got Grace Mbogwa, who's the country recruitment manager. And we also in studio have Helen Meria, who is the director. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the ladies. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you very much. Oh, th thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. Uh -huh. So, um, why, why would I choose Australia as a place to study? Yes, probably I should start uh, mm -hmm. to explain that. Yeah. My name is Helen Maria, like mm -hmm. you say. Mm -hmm. I'm the director and founder of Options Education Agency. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, and mainly we recruit um, uh, exclusively for Australia. Mm -hmm. Reason being, I work and live in Australia. Mm -hmm. I've always found so many opportunities there for our Kenyan students. Mm -hmm. And anytime all those students we have facilitated their move to Australia. Yeah. Some of them are doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. The parents are so happy mm -hmm. uh, when they come for their graduation or they come to visit. Mm -hmm. It's always a moment to celebrate. There's a parent who's listening in right now and uh, before we even get into what Options does, why would a parent or a child choose to go to Australia to study and not anywhere else? From your experience? Okay, from my experience, uh, Australia is a country which is very inclusive mm -hmm. where uh, multicultural, mm -hmm. ma multiculturalism is the thing that Australia prides with mm -hmm. uh, because we have nationalities from all over the world mm -hmm. and being a very large country which is like 10 times the size of Kenya, mm -hmm. it only has a population half of Kenya. Wow. So the opportunities in that country, the, um, the economy of that country, mm -hmm. it needs us. There is a very clear pathway mm -hmm. to even going this through the system to mm -hmm. becoming a permanent Australian resident. Wow. And it's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. There are no hidden cans under the table. Mm -hmm. It's just do your studies, apply for post-study work visa, mm -hmm. then you can work the rest by yourself. Is the education system there uh, superior? Uh, I wouldn't say superior because I love my country, Kenya. Mm -hmm, yeah. I was educated in Kenya. Yeah. I went to work in Australia with my Kenyan education. Uh -huh. All I can say is the education there actually um, uh, understands the Kenyan education mm -hmm. and it's very easy to link a Kenyan student to Australian education system yeah. because the, st the system there approves Kenyan education. Mm -hmm. They love Kenyan education. We don't have to go backwards or mm -hmm. do uh, some bridging, bridging. courses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can go straight from high school, uh -huh. from KCSE. As long as you have a B yeah. and above, uh -huh. you can just access straight to first year university. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Because, you know, the, one of the biggest challenges with Nina, now I'm trying to bridging. The guys will do bridging for two years, but they certainly yeah. can travel to you to where. It's, actually, like, it's ridiculous. Actually, I may want to add that uh -huh. people B and above, they can access direct university entry. Mm -hmm. They can have di direct uh, university entry. But if you had a D plus, C, mm -hmm. C minus, mm -hmm. there is always a pathway. And that's when we need bridging. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way you do a bridging for one year or two years, mm -hmm. depending on how low your pass mark is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can access university. And so a lot of times yeah. when you do that bridging for one year, mm -hmm. you move to second year after the bridging course. Oh, wow. Yeah. So ridiculously, very, very special yeah. system. Okay, so yeah. I'm listening. I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm like, Sijuni and Australia kusoma. Kwa box ni kwa chapa kwa studio mazi. Mina za kusoma gazeti. Gazeti. We have a lot of your courses. Yeah. yeah um, so now there's, you know, when, when I'm hearing, I'm like, so where does options come in? Because I can, I can easily just, now that I've had, I'm like, okay, let me apply. Let me go online. Mm -hmm. Let me look at an Australian university. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I need you guys. Yes. yes. Uh, maybe I can still answer where Options comes in. Mm -hmm. Options is an education agency that facilitates the student's application to a university, including application for the Australian student visa, mm -hmm. which we all package it together mm -hmm. as a service we give to the students. Mm -hmm. So we have been accredited by the universities in Australia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, not everyone, every agent who is telling you they can take you to Australia, mm -hmm. Only about, I can say, maybe not more than five agents who oh. can, who have that accreditation by the Australian universities. So the people who are actually there conning parents. Of course, oh, there are so many, many of those. Are you serious? We call them uh, <coughs> briefcase agents. Uh -huh. And what they do, they will tell you each process, there is a fee to it. Mm. 
Oh. Like there is a fee for me to find your course. Uh -huh. There's a fee for me to do your application. Uh -huh. There's a fee for me to give you the offer letter. Uh -huh. And then there is paying school fees. And that's where most parents need to be very cautious. Yeah. Because there is no way you pay school fees to an account called Grace Mbugwa. Yeah. And I tell you, I'm taking you to like Australia. a university in Australia. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't make sense. And uh, I've met parents who have been con millions of money. Uh -huh. And I feel um, I feel sorry for them. That's so but at the same time, uh, excited to even be here to explain to them mm. that for for you to be able to transition or move to study abroad, mm -hmm. you need to use the right channels and services that are existing mm -hmm. by one, ensuring maybe the agents that you're picking has a physical location. Mm -hmm. How long have they been there? Because yeah. if I've been here, for, I could rent a house for a month, collect mm -hmm. all money and yeah. shut down. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. So you also need to look at the history of that particular agent that you're choosing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the accreditation? Are they registered mm -hmm. legally even in the country as mm -hmm. a business? Mm -hmm. And can they operate and be able to send students to study? abroad hey. yeah but you know okay now that we found you guys mm -hmm. we're not going anywhere else. <laughs> and we have options we have reached the <laughs> option the right options so i finished my kcse and mm -hmm. i'm looking to study in the in, in australia mm -hmm. but i know nothing about australia yeah. all i've seen is maybe some universities have searched online mm -hmm. and but even those universities i'm not sure you know which one so i say i've walked in where are you guys located we are located at uh, the Mall Westlands, mm -hmm. second floor. Yeah. And uh, when you come there, mm -hmm. the first engagement between a counsellor and a student, because in all our offices in the country, we actually have four offices. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Nairobi, Nakuru, Nyeri, Eldoret, mm -hmm. and also we are in Uganda at mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kampala City. Yeah. The first thing that we do in all these offices, we have hired counsellors that we train for them to know how to do career counselling and guidance for the students. Mm. We're just not calling students and dishing out to them programs mm. and saying, you know what, just go study this, go study IT. Yeah. They don't even have any interest in a computer. Mm. We try and, and, and uh, narrow down their choices based on their interest and passion mm. until we arrive at a course that they would love. Yeah. And we also call in parents in some situations because we try to break that thing of degree Mm. Uh, you know them. Yeah. Unambu uh, lazima kuwe daktari. The grade is a C. Mtoto mm. anastruggle na anasoma kama miaka nane ama kumi. We really um, love for them to do what they are passionate about and they get to enjoy. For me as a counselor, my joy is when a student texts me um, in Australia mm. and sends me a message and says, Grace, this is the best choice I've made and I'm enjoying my studies. Aww. I am... Um, I'm, I'm content as a counselor. I love it. <laughs> I love the conversation we're having yeah. here in studio. Remember, it's on my grind. And today we're talking to Options uh, if uh, options Education Agency. If you've ever wanted to study in Australia, now unajipata uko kwa cyber sahi asubuhi umekuwa cyber tu, cyber cyber. Unatafuta shule. You are doing the wrong thing because <laughs> all your options are right here in studio. Catch the vibes on air and online. And in studio today, we have Options Education Agency. So, Grace, so I want to study in Australia. Mm -hmm. What would be required of me? Um, if you want to study in Australia, mm -hmm. the first thing that I tell people, if you want to study abroad, mm -hmm. get a passport. Mm -hmm. You cannot leave the country without a passport. So that is the first thing before you even look into university. Okay. And remember, your passport can last uh, 10 years. Yes. So when you save and 2023, you come. But it's Olympia. But it's not Olympia. It's not Olympia. It's not Olympia. It's not we we recommend that you have a passport mm -hmm. and then we need your qualifications based on what you've studied okay so if it's kcs you could generate your certificate mm -hmm. if it's a university come with your university certificate and transcripts okay and then if you have worked also you have to bring a cv and a letter of recommendation just to show you know well, the kind of a person that you've uh, been uh, working as and also somebody to just recommend and talk about you okay and now when i'm let's say on the other side yes. of australia mm -hmm. uh what should i expect especially since i've already qualified and mm -hmm. you guys have already taken me to that other side yes so you you live kenya Mm -hmm. By the time you actually depart from our airport, mm -hmm. we have already alerted our offices in Australia that you're coming. Okay. Remember, you have two offices in Australia. Mm -hmm. One is in Adelaide, our headquarters, and we have a new one that we open in Perth, Western Australia. Okay. So depending on where you're going, we are able to just give our counselors and, and the contact person your name 
and as soon as you exit that airport in Australia somebody is there waiting for you that's mama pale na jina yako mimi naiga na sema Brian and you know how the, the feeling is so good when somebody's calling you by name and mm-hmm. telling you welcome to Australia yes. as opposed to you getting there and you're like okay taxi za huko ziko wapi kuna uba simu ni plus 254 aingi so we normally organize all this we even go an extra mile to give our students a sim card at the airport to call home and say i've landed safe cuz mzazi ya jalala iti na wazo na get hey mzazi kuna endaje but the moment you get there we give you a sim card we facilitate some something to bite we take them for dinner if wamefika jioni if it's in the morning we take them for brunch because unajua maybe amekuwa kwa ndege ajadishi you are hungry by the time you get there we give you something to eat and also we take you to where you're supposed to stay the next day you come to our office and we assist you to open a bank account mm-hmm. so that your parents can be able to transfer money to you and you can be able to access some funds to use wow so you literally just facilitate for every single thing that chances yes. are i haven't thought about we and on top of that we even do a follow up to know how are you settling and how are you doing exactly uh. we really don't we don't <laughs> like to hear people suffering and especially sometimes we get students who are like 18 mm-hmm. yeah. they just turn 18 they're very young some are 17 mm-hmm. who can be in home stay yeah. but at the same time we try to see how are they coping up So once in a while our director and the headquarters they organize for cocktails or evening drinks or mm. coffees like let's meet up on a weekend mm. barbecue and talk about how you're settling in Australia. That's really dope. It's yes. it's a whole community to be mm-hmm. honest. And maybe I can also add that uh, about the bank opening mm-hmm. the account the, the account opening. Mm-hmm. We have recently entered into an agreement with one of the big four banks in Australia. Mm-hmm. It's called the Commonwealth Bank. Yeah. They have given us a platform to open uh, bank accounts for students when they are still here mm-hmm. yeah. so that by the time they go to the airport by the time they depart the country yeah. the family should feel confident to go and deposit money in that account mm. by the time the student reaches Australia the man, they can go to whichever branch and because we are the ones who are facilitating this student we mm. are able to choose the branch for them yeah. depending on where, where which university, yeah. university they are going mm. to yes it works very very well because when they arrive they just need to show up in the branch with their passport mm-hmm. and they can access their money or they can, and they can also get their sim, their their services there the card the, the atm card atm card yes so um you know shout out to the K- kale bay who's uh, tweeting and saying can you change your course if you're already done with your degree um some courses they can merge mm-hmm. some cannot mm-hmm. because um, say sciences mm-hmm. you cannot study communication which is under arts mm-hmm. and then you come and say i want to do you know medicine or something yeah so we try and look at course progression mm-hmm. um, if you have done something like business mm-hmm. you can easily move into a development course mm-hmm. say global development yeah. or or uh, even international business studies mm-hmm. and also if you have done communication you can do something like a masters in business yeah. so we 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 merge the the courses and look at where do you feel it in mm-hmm. and there is also something we call um, um, a statement of purpose where a student can also explain to the embassy or to the and to the university mm-hmm. why do i want to change the course mm-hmm. in an event the course is really like you finish and you don't like it yeah. so you could say look i've had this course for five years mm-hmm. i've not had a job in kenya at all with it mm-hmm. i'm looking at how the world is changing and maybe that's why i've decided to migrate into it mm-hmm. because it's it is not coming to a stop anytime soon yeah we're heading into more advanced yeah. technology So, yeah. What are some of the most popular courses because I know there's uh, people who are just like unajua unataka kufanya nasi enda huku. Unataka kufanya engineering enda huku. Yeah. What what is Australia known for? Um Australia is well known for engineering courses especially mm-hmm. because Australia is a is a country with a lot of mining that happens there, mm-hmm. a lot of developments. Mm-hmm. So I always advise people who who want to do engineering mm-hmm. Avoid thinking of things like aeronautical engineering yeah. which only you work with planes and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Go for the real thing, mm-hmm. mechanical engineering, mm-hmm. electrical engineering, mining, mm-hmm. petroleum. Mm-hmm. We have all these big universities which brag a lot with those courses they have invested a lot of uh, resources, uh, resources mm-hmm. into them and also there are courses in the business business courses are also very popular in australia mm-hmm. uh, because a lot of universities invest in their business such that when you do you go and study a business course mm-hmm. you don't just come out with a theory mm-hmm. before the end of the course you have almost a year work experience working in the real industry mm-hmm. very employable and that's the other thing that happens in australia which hardly doesn't i did a big course myself mm-hmm. and i never saw this mm-hmm. uh, we also have nursing courses have also been very popular with yeah. the, especially students from kenya mm-hmm. uh, not just kenya is actually across the world mm-hmm. 
Why? Because nursing is known to be one of the careers. You don't struggle to look for work. Yeah. But now it has become a bit very, they have tightened the, the balls a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. You cannot access a nursing course unless you pass English in a very high uh, distinction. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in this course called the IELTS or the Peterson, Pearson Test of English, mm -hmm. normally called PTE. Mm -hmm. If you get over seven, seven in every band in IOTS. Mm. That's the only way you can from nursing. now you can access any nursing course, which is going to make it very difficult for most people. Wow. Yes. But something amazing is happening. Well, I know according to Australians, it's not amazing, but the, the Australian dollar is not doing as well. Yes. And there's something good that's happening for anyone who wants to go to study right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back and talk about that. Remember, you are live on, on my grind. Yeah. The show is Morning Vibes with Kwambok and Bunde. It's 28 minutes to 10 a.m. Catch the vibes on air and online. In we studio, we've got uh, options, education. Um, that's options education and uh, today we're asking you have you ever thought of studying in Australia you did you ever think of studying in Australia I come box Z me comrade so my upper ones are up and you know what what you guys at a strike to look at his tear gas to me as well so at a strike to look at normal but I didn't even ever think about leaving the country well yeah. you didn't education's uh, options education agency didn't exist at that time because it's 10 years old now right yeah it's 10 years old 10 years old you can't be brand how old are you Right. <laughs> 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 and, 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 and I'm looking at the services that you offer, program counseling, visa application, arrival and accommodation, basically just making sure that as you leave Kenya and you're going to Australia, that your focus is your studies. You don't need to focus on anything else. Um, so it's not all nice and dope, but my parents don't have the fees. Australia. Mm -hmm. Are there scholarships? Um, Australia universities, most of them, they do offer scholarships. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, easy to find a 100% scholarship. Yeah. However, you'll find uh, nearly, I'd say 98% of the universities giving you a 20 to 25% discount on your school fees. Hey. And I'd like to even insist on one university by the name of um, University of Technology, Sydney, mm -hmm. of which we even recently had one of their representatives and professor coming here uh, to Kenya to visit our office. Mm -hmm. He's Kenyan, by the way, mm -hmm. and he lectures there. And he told us for the first time, the university has set aside scholarships for international students from Africa mm. to be able to apply and if you are awarded mm. because scholarships are just not dished out you yeah. have to um, compete and mm. see if you if you you you've passed then you can get it yeah. uh, they are a hundred percent scholarship for the bachelor at this university mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, engineering if it's business all those courses we also um, considering them mm. Uh, on top of that, different universities uh, like uh, University of Technology, uh, Sydney, like I've said, and also Deakin University and several other, they are all giving you 20-25% in um, this coming intake of July yeah. and also February intakes. Do you guys help with getting those scholarships? Yes, most of them actually come in with your offer mm -hmm. as you're applying to study mm -hmm. and as we are lodging your application to that university, mm -hmm. we are able to know if you're getting the 20 or the 25% mm -hmm. and the university will return the offer letter mm -hmm. with that explanation saying um, because you've given 25% then you're going to pay X amount as your school fees. Mm. And once you get to Australia, to be honest, there are hundreds of scholarships that exist internally in these universities. Yeah. From academics to co-curricular activities, you know, if you're good in football, if you're good in volunteering and whatnot. Mm. We have scholarships, even 500 for food, for accommodation, mm. for laptops, and all these are for you to, co to apply and compete. Yeah. And I mean, students always have something. Yeah, we are able to change a student who probably has applied for a certain, came with a certain university in mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then after discussion, mm -hmm. we are able to make make them or make him understand that mm -hmm. there's, that we can get the same course in a different university mm -hmm. now with a scholarship on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. And this really is one of the services we are very proud of yeah. when we give it to our students. And I mean, it's a scheduled discount. 
discount you have a new school did they give you a discount <laughs> nothing hata to strike wakambi aya kujeni na pesa utalipa and, yeah. and this remember there are genuine discounts mm-hmm. which don't always exist yeah. it's not just like playing games to yeah. make sure that you look like you are cheaper no yeah. it's the actual fees if it's an african if it's an african uh, scholarship mm-hmm. it won't it won't go to the asian students yeah. it won't go to students from latin america mm. it only go to africans and we have quite a number of these some of which we go and negotiate ourselves mm. i have the chance to go and meet some of the university's uh, authorities yeah. and then we can discuss we can because we are marketing these programs together mm-hmm. we are partners with them mm-hmm. we are not just uh, an agent for them we are actually partners mm-hmm. and we do it together so like a it. lot of times we are able to negotiate better term, better terms better discounts which we call scholarships mm. could be accommodation scholarships uh, which i know some universities give like a whole semester of free accommodation wow. yeah. to a student mm. or it could be book scholarship yeah. Yeah. mainly the parents want to hear about the tuition fee scholarship yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that coupled with our dollar yeah. which you mentioned yeah. earlier which we discussed earlier it's really a big it discount. comes down a yeah. big discount so this is the best time to come study in this australia this is the best time australian yes. dollar is at the, the, the lowest i've ever seen it mm-hmm. it's in the 60s mm-hmm. mid 60s yeah this has been happen we we've had the australian dollar at 95 mm. now it's at 65 mm. do you know how much you save you save hundreds, hundreds of, of thousands, thousands. Yeah. exactly um i mean this is exciting um there's a parent who's like okay but my child is not yet 18 how will you cater to this child okay in australia we we have a system which we call homestay mm-hmm. the government will never allow a student who is below 18 to leave their country to step in Australia mm-hmm. all by their, themselves. Yeah. So we organize a system whereby we hook the student to a family in Australia mm-hmm. and that family becomes the family for the student. Ah. And this family looks after this young young student until they reach their 18th birthday mm-hmm. and sometimes they they stay there even up to 21 yeah. because they love it. It's mm. just a home. You mm. get to know the Australian culture. You it could be a Kenyan family, it mm. could be an Australian or even a any other family yeah. within Australia but that family is usually vetted a lot by the government mm-hmm. they have to be checked for crime the, the police check everything their health checks to yeah. make sure that this student is coming to a very healthy family mm. very authentic family which is not known of any 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 doing anything evil against anyone i like it yeah and then You know, if I move to Australia cuz like now I'm thinking maybe maybe I don't want to go and do my masters and I I want to take some time off from 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 work. So I'm going to study there. Mm-hmm. In some countries you go, they won't even allow you to do like uh, uh you know part-time. Mm-hmm. You know that you can earn some some money. Yep. D- will Australia d- do they allow these things? Yes. Um as an international student mm-hmm. when you go to Australia The government allows you to legally work for 20 hours a week mm-hmm. which accumulates to 80 hours a month mm. but during summer Kenyans being Kenyans we, you can work unlimited yeah. and not just Kenyans uh, any international student mm-hmm. and at that time if you're hard working you can easily be able to put some money together yeah. and not just have some pocket money for yourself so yes the jobs are there and uh, you you might find uh, even a job inside the universities because mm. the universities love to hire international students inside mm. to do a lot of work maybe in the library mm-hmm. or even yeah. in that department so all these are also experiences that um they 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 are one of the best uh, lucky opportunities that you get when you're studying as a student mm. in Australia being able to work and study and sometimes even being able to work in that particular course that you're studying for mm. so mm. is it very possible that since guys in Kenya are mm-hmm. struggling yeah. to get jobs yes. mm-hmm. i can decide after i've graduated that actually go and get my masters mm-hmm. in Australia then mm-hmm. actually land a job there. Yes, it's very possible. And in fact, if you study a masters for two years, mm-hmm. you you qualify for postgraduate work visa mm-hmm. which allows you to stay and work in Australia for two more years and during that time is the transition time because when you get an employer who says I like you Brian, you know what? I'm hiring you. Mm-hmm. You just transition to the visa that now allows you to stay in Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at that time again, Options Education Headquarter, they do um let our students have the information on how to transition on that mm-hmm. so that you're not l- illegally in a country stranded with a visa that doesn't allow you to work. Yeah. We assist you and show you this is the way mm-hmm. and these are the documents that you can lodge and all those processes. Plus the, unemp- the unemployment rate mm-hmm. in Australia is very very low. Uh-huh. It's below 5%. Yeah. That tells you mm. you just need to work hard. <laughs> you just need to be confident with yourself and you'll get a job. Hey. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come books. 
Hivyo tu. I don't know about education right is going to come. Vibes Radio Australia. Yeah. I I want to ask you um Helen. Mm-hmm. You've stayed how long have you stayed in in Australia? Uh I've been there for 18 years. 18 now. years. Yes. You don't miss Kenya? I do. I come here every um, two or three <laughs> times a year. Yeah. 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 Um in, in your time staying there. What would you say about Australia? Uh first of all when I landed there mm-hmm. the first cultural shock I I got is the organization of the systems. Mm-hmm. Everything is very orderly. Yeah. The road users are very orderly. Mm-hmm. The cleanliness, it's like even the little kids they know they are not supposed to litter things mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. anywhere. Yeah. A culture which I found to be very good. Mm-hmm. The buses they know how to go about. There's no struggle mm-hmm. like queuing for a for a bus or running into a matatu where you get squeezed and yeah. Everything is super orderly mm-hmm. and uh, it's not like someone is there to enforce it mm-hmm. it's like people are taking it like their way of life mm. which i find very very unique yeah. mm-hmm. uh, so i still believe in kenya we can be the same mm-hmm. and i still believe some of these graduates who are studying overseas are they coming back they should come back yeah. mm-hmm. and actually help to shape our country mm. to give that culture to in, to inflict that culture mm. to ourselves so yeah. that we have If, even if it comes to to roads construction of roads should always allow pedestrian walkways which are found now it's happening yeah it's it's not it's now happening i've san- seen the new roads now yeah. come with pedestrian walks <laughs> yes and these are some of the things which you find in australia and then when it comes to the country itself there is a lot of um uh, opportunities when mm. it comes to job mm. job search yeah. you just need to log in online check where your job is compete for it mm. get it Um, and s- that's how I lived. That's how before I went to work for Options 10 years ago, mm-hmm. I used to be an employee myself. For someone who's listening to us mm-hmm. and they want to go abroad and study mm-hmm. with you guys, what perception what perceptions do people hold of life abroad that's untrue? Uh one of the perception is they think when they get there they'll get a job the following day. Mm. Okay. Which usually you have to look everywhere you have to look for a job. Yeah. You have to be competent for it. It takes a while to mm. look for a job and one of the things I usually tell even parents and a student don't come there with only one one school fees, one term school fees mm. and think the next one you have earned it in your working part time or working. That was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, no. we we really get so frustrated or we get really we 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 feel for it when mm. a student comes and says I don't have fees for the next semester. Mm. So it it's a, it's a trauma in a way yeah. because the system always knows you had money that's why they ask for bank statements. Mm. Maybe you gave your uncle's bank statement yeah. who has nothing to do with your fees. Yeah. So Honestly, it's I always advise parents make sure you have fees at least for one year or mm-hmm. at least for the, the duration of the course. Mm-hmm. The student can work and work hard yeah. which keeps them out of trouble. Mm-hmm. They can work work, pa- work part-time and pay maybe for their accommodation, their pocket money, mm. maybe their ticket home for Christmas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh can chip in into the school fees if mm. if possible, but it it's never the best thing to do. What I've heard is if I if if we go through you guys one it's organized yeah. um I will I will cut out the middlemen who are trying to like you know yes. pretty much take advantage of parents who are suspecting mm-hmm. yeah. so you help you ease that uh, uh, uh process of applying you know the things you forget even accommodation you're just like shule shule bus fare twende you get there you're like ayya <laughs> line is so when you come to australia go hi unonge kiswahili bu kam let me take taxi yeah. <laughs> you know <coughs> you do all that for the person yes. and you don't leave the person when they've gone to the university you also follow up and find out how is life treating you exactly. come mingle with us let's talk about what we've learned there are options for scholarships that you help people uh, uh, see even as they're in, in the in the universities yes. and mm. even as they, f- they 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 take their breaks and they want to learn about you know work there you still help with that yes so you're that one stop shop if you want to travel to Australia to study they should come to you we enjoy it being we like it when it's an adventure for the student mm-hmm. than one of these mystery you don't know where you're going yeah. if you know someone is waiting for you the other side mm-hmm. we've given you a pre departure counseling which we do always to students after they get their visas mm-hmm. we have to counsel them tell them what to carry what not to carry mm. when you go to dubai don't pay one flight pay one flight to your destination because yeah. you pay a flight to sydney and then you get another one which is domestic mm-hmm. there'll be differences in the way the, the luggage that you carry yeah. so we counsel them in all these mm. so that it's an adventure for them yeah. just to come and find someone standing with a big poster 
well. Yeah. Sometimes we are in an options heart, mm -hmm. telling you welcome to Australia. Yeah. I felt it myself when I first arrived there, mm -hmm. just to see this gentleman standing there saying, Mary, your family, welcome to Australia. Oh, wow. It was the best thing that I can tell you I saw because it's a new country mm -hmm. and you know all your mysteries are solved. Yeah. Yes. And it's a new country, not near yeah. like <laughs> Tanza. <laughs> yeah. Like Tanzania. And she attends graduation for all our students. Oh, I try to. Much. I may not do all of them, yes. but whichever is close by yeah. yes. or She's wherever I'm invited, uh -huh. I try mm -hmm. my best. It's a very busy time for us yeah. to share graduation with parents. <laughs> yeah. We get to know each other. I've made mm. more friends than ever before Wow! Yeah. through the parents of the students. I yes. love it. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through and sharing with us your story. That was Thank Options you. Education Agency. If you want to get in touch with them, their website, please don't, uh, tell them their web, your website. Um, you can... Uh, I'll first give them the email address. Mm -hmm. If you want to send your documents or your queries, you can send them to students at optionseducation.com.au. Mm -hmm. Student. Student at optionseducation.com.au. So there is no S in the student. And uh, you can also reach us on 0724 333 0724-333-222. And our, our website is optionseducation.com.au. All right. Thank you yes. so much. And we, 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 you're going to Australia. Tell your parents you have found the right people to make your dreams come true. Yes. yes. Catch the vibes on air and online.